Why is the veteran community so important to you? What connects you to them and what motivates you to serve them? I feel very connected to the veteran community. I was born into the Army. My dad was a Army officer and I was a part of my life. Uh, service has always been important to my family and to me. My grandfathers, who both were veterans, uh, my paternal grandfather was the first pharmacist at the Madison, Wisconsin VA, and we would sit around the table and hear stories about the wonderful people that he had a chance to serve, so that was important. When I was going through medical school, the VA hospitals were critical. I trained in three different hospitals, and the people that I met there, the veterans that I had a chance to take care of were uh, such wonderful people who had given so much. So this has always been a very, very important uh, piece of my history. And as a American, feeling so grateful to those who have served us and have really created the freedoms that we have, um, when you put both of those together, your personal history and your feeling as a citizen, this just becomes so important. In your confirmation, you spoke about your commitment to VA's value in the medical community. Could you please articulate again what you feel the VA can offer veterans that cannot be matched in the private sector? I had spent my career, about 25 years, being in the private sector, both as a physician and also running some of the larger health systems in the country. And so when I came to VA, I was actually surprised at how different care in the private sector was from VA care. And the real difference was the comprehensive nature of the services that we offer in the VA that you don't normally find in the private sector. And so when you work in healthcare in the private sector, you're generally focusing on the physical issues of a patient. But in the VA system, it actually is much more than that. It's treating the physical component, but also the social component, the psychological component, the economic component, and integrating all of that. So if a veteran comes and they don't have a place to live, in other words, they're homeless, we don't just worry about getting their medical condition better, but we recognize if you don't have a home, you're not likely to be able to have medication sent any place and follow up. You're not able to feel comfortable and have psychological safety at night. And so we provide and we find you a home. And I think that this sort of holistic approach to well-being is much broader than what you find in the private sector. What do you think about the current public narrative of the VA? And do you wish to see a shift from spotlighting its shortcomings to celebrating its successes? I think that it's time to stop beating us up. And I think that it's really gotten to be an old story. I'm disappointed that um, there seems to be an obsession with finding our failings. We are a large organization. We deal with serious problems day in and day out. There are always going to be difficult circumstances and failings when you have such a large organization dealing with such complex problems. And frankly, when we make mistakes, we deserve to be held accountable, and I'm not looking to hide our mistakes. But this constant berating is really painting a picture that frankly is a disservice to the hundreds of thousands of our employees who come to work because they believe in care and have passion for serving veterans. And it's a disservice to our veterans because it breaks down their confidence in the system. And I worry that there are people who need help who don't come to us because they hear this narrative in the community. So I'm looking for a fair and accurate balance. And I really believe that it's time that we stop the constant berating on VA by public officials, by the media, and everybody else, and that we join together uh, with a singular commitment to making this a better organization. You were confirmed by the U.S. Senate 100 to 0. What does that mean for the veteran community? I think it's a really important message that we heard, and what it says is, is that when it comes to veterans, there aren't Republicans and there aren't Democrats that we're talking about Americans who have all put their life on the, on the line for this country. And what that vote says to me is, is that the country understands that when it comes to veterans, we're gonna stick together and this is an issue that unites us. And we may not see many issues where everybody agrees, but this is one. And I see it as a mandate 
a mandate for us to do what it takes to make sure that we're providing them with the very best service and that everyone's going to stand behind us from the president, the Congress, and the American people. And I think it's a great message for us.